course, it's been a pretty good week for shots this week. Obviously, Saturday was a fantastic trip to Southend. Brilliant win there. And of course, uh, the younger lads got the win in the Hampshire Cup quarterfinals at Baffins Milton Rovers on Tuesday. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, obviously, firstly, start with Southend. I thought before we played really well and fully deserved um, the three points. And uh, it was a really, really good performance. And, and the big thing for us now is just continuing that and we, we sort of had a had a pretty positive week in terms of Maidenhead and um uh, obviously the South End game as well. So yeah we need to we need to continue that form and our performance is important and, and getting that right more more times than not you'll get the three points and yeah so that's that it's a big thing to continue the next game and then obviously the, the Hampshire Senior Cup was was won by our our twenty one so certainly in my time time being at the club we've never got to semi final and um it's amazing to see, and, and it's not like they've, they've played uh, they've played weak sides and either, and they've had to obviously travel away to Baffin. So, really, really well done in the twenty ones, and obviously well done to sort of Ryan and Rich, um, who oversee that as well. So, really, really positive. Uh, obviously, want to get a good draw in the semi final and um, see how we're getting on the league and what the fitness is like and where the first team players will be involved in that. But, but we, we don't want to take away from what what the academy have achieved with getting that result. So, really, really fair sort of props to them. Yeah, if we talk about that one quickly, obviously you've said before um, you want to use it as a as with first team players. You want to take it seriously. Obviously, we've seen the academy play, but is that just a case of where it's been Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday for so long? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, uh, we, we played obviously Shortland, didn't we, in November, and we had a few first team boys out, and and then it, we, I mean, we we only had fifteen players on on Saturday against South End, and um, with the, with the three boys that have been out injured and. Obviously, Croy was number 15, so he's gone back. So then, technically, you've only really got 14 fit players. And then, obviously, you've got like people like Francis, Tommy, Ben Schroll, um, Harrison, Cordy, um, players I've obviously missed like Keane and Maxwell and Maka, who, who are all out on loan. So they can't do both, um, which sort of leaves us a little bit short in terms of getting first team players there. It's not that we didn't want to. Um, but um, depending on when the fixture lies and, and depending on what we're like in the league, um, there'll certainly hopefully be an opportunity to include some of the some of the boys, um, maybe whether they need more minutes or or, or whatnot. Looking forward to Saturday. Um, obviously, we we got the better of Gateshead at their place in December. So is it more of the same as that? Well, I mean, it has to be right. And I thought we played really well against Gateshead, and Gateshead was our. Um, I think I think we came into that the, was the postponement hall after that, wasn't it? Like two weeks. So yeah, I thought we were excellent up there. They, 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 um, we really got at them, and, and we sort of we we, had, we we played really really well. Um, and we talked about performance. We played it was a really good performance, and, and to get a clean sheet and win two 0 and we haven't had many clean sheets of late, and that's something certainly we need to do more of. But yeah, of course it needs to be more of the same, and, and we want them to come to our place, and we talk about our being our home record and. We want to win at home, so it's important that we put a good performance together. Also, this week, another positive that I forgot to mention earlier was obviously Tyler Cordner uh, being captain of England C. That must be an incredible achievement for the club, isn't it? And yeah, and for your coaching staff to have a player under your ranks that does that. Yeah, amazing. Uh, he, he is really, really. Um, you talk about um, uh, development of people, and, and, and he's really come on as a leader. and, and that's not like that's all down to him, and, and obviously it's within there. So, so he fully deserved that opportunity, and I'm really, really pleased for him. He's such a, he's such a, such a nice lad, and he works hard, and he's really, really good with the, with everybody here. So he, he's a really, really important member of our group, and I heard he played really, really well. And um, it wasn't a game game I managed to I managed to get to because I went and watched obviously Tommy. So um, yeah, I heard he was excellent and, and certainly something I need to watch that back in particular. But yeah, really, really pleased for him and, and it's certainly something that he definitely deserves. And an officer back of that, obviously going to watch Tommy and again, really, really pleased for Tommy to, to score a hat rick and it looked like he was having loads of fun and it looked like it was just, just, just to get those minutes in the legs. And Tommy's a player who who's here next year and we of course want to keep him, we want to keep an eye on. And, I'm really, I'm, I'm not Tommy. I'm not Tommy since he's been in the academy. So I'm really, really pleased he's done well, and he he seems a whole a whole lot better in himself that he's playing games and playing minutes. And there's no good um, him being. He obviously got injured at mm. didn't he? Got injured yeah, at yeah, unbelievably. Yeah, he um, and uh, there's no good him. He took six weeks to get fit, and 10, 15 minutes, and half an hour here, or maybe the odd fifty, sixty here, and. Isn't going to get him up to speed, and 
what better way to get him up to speed than send him out long where he's going to play regularly and he's going to play 90 minutes and we get to keep an eye on him and we can bring him in when we need to bring him in and we can bring him back if we need to bring him back and, and obviously we, we've got good forward options still anyway mm. but having a really good forward option I mean I'd rather stand here talking to you about a player on loan doing well and that that being a problem and me getting whatever for that than the other side of it so it's miles better well, let's talk about those those players you mentioned as those forward options because we've we've seen Tav obviously has missed a couple of games. Mm. If you can give us an update on him, but also yeah. we've seen Jack start against Southend. He looked really bright, had a really good few chances early in that first half, and then obviously Jake coming off the bench and, and doing what Jake does and playing really well there as well. So it's brilliant to have, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, Jack's got obviously got nine goals this season already, and, and and to put that into context, obviously he will be our top scorer. But I mean, obviously, and he's I think and he and he had fourteen for us, so. Not massively marked behind him, but but obviously playing in a struggling team, and I think Jack Jack when he settles and gets that connection with the players is going to get a lot of goals at this football club. And um, then you've got Tyler Frost, who's obviously now got two, and he looked really really good against Southend. And then Ryan as well can score goals. Justin can score goals. Um, Ollie, Ollie needs to have, obviously has scored recently, but adding that adding more goals into his game. And and then obviously you've got Tav Tav will hope be back on Saturday, and Tav obviously. We sort of ran into the ground a little bit. You remember he hadn't played for so long and then he comes in here and does sort of 170 minutes in sort of seven days. And that's probably a little, probably not helped. Well, it probably hasn't helped him, has it? So, but him back Saturday, um, certainly beyond reduced minutes and, and looking to try and get him back in. And he's, he's, he's been really positive and, and really, really sort of like desperate to play, which is great, which is really, really good. And, and that's where we're at with our attacking options, which is really, really positive. And, Obviously, like, like I said, then having 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 Tommy and Francis out on loan, and and Francis I think is back back from injury this side of for Slough, so that's really really good, and and and, and we're, we're we're looking at like getting a bit of stick for two good players out on loan and and not playing here. That shows you the strength we've we've got, hopefully, and and that's a real real positive. Cheers, Ross. Cheers, Sam. Click here for the latest match highlights, and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.